She lives way across town. It was summer 1948, and I needed money. After going door to door all day long, I was back again at Joffe's Bar, trying to figure out where I was going to go looking for work the next day. The newspapers was going on and on about the city elections, like they was really going to change somebody's life. Well, my life had already changed when I lost my job three weeks before. Uh, for example, one of the white guys uh, pulls a double shift. As he's too tired to work overtime, you, you don't fire them. That's all you have to say. No, no, that's not all. I, I need... I need to pay my mortgage and eat. I need a house to live in. I need to put clothes on my back, Mr. Giacomo. I need the job. I'm sorry, fella. I gotta get back to work. My name's not fella. Huh? My name's not fella. My name is Ezekiel Rollins. Catch you later, Jumpy. Hey! Watch the barber, damn it! what I tell you? <laughs> Jumpy, how much you think they're paying out there to Douglas Aircraft? I don't know. Don't stay on your... Call me DeWitt, Easy. How you doing? I'm all right. Take a seat, Easy. Mr. Albright, let me go way back to before the war. Hmm. Back, back when I was still in the flag game. Yeah. Ever seen this guy fight? Nah. Huh? Phew. Every time Jackie Shad stepped in the ring, you knew you was gonna see some real knockdown, drag out fisticuffs. <laughs> Where you from, Easy? Houston. Mm. Houston. Let's drop his hometown. So here you need a job. Oh, yeah, Doc. Easy, always trying to do better. He one of the few colored men around here who own his own house. <clears throat> Shoot, he paying the mortgage every month, just like y'all folks. Property owner, huh? These big companies don't give a damn, do they, Easy? Got out of that racket a long time ago. Look, if you do need a job, you drop by this address, 7 o'clock tonight. What kind of work do you do? I do favors. I do favors for friends. Drop by. Who is that, Jabby? Just somebody I know. Business man. Mm, business man, man. Yeah, he is. Ain't nothing to worry about. Now, when somebody tell me ain't nothing to worry about, I usually look down to see if my fly is open.
I guess maybe I just loved owning something. I was feeling pretty desperate that evening. In a week, I'd be two months behind on my mortgage, and no, sir, I wasn't about to lose my house. But a chill running up the back of my neck was talking to me, telling me I was about to make a bad decision. Yeah, Albright made me nervous. He reminded me of a fella I knew back in Texas named Miles. Drive over to the train yard, easy, and let's dump this I thought you said this was your friend's car. Now, what you do, Miles? Just drive this son of a bitch. What did you do? job it is. I don't want to get mixed up in that. Hmm. Walk out the door in the morning, easy. You're mixed up in something. Only thing that matters is if you're mixed up to the top or not. I'm just looking for somebody. For a friend. Daphne Monet. <clears throat> Fiance of Todd Carter. She's been gone two weeks. It upset the poor man so much he stopped running for mayor. Mm, I ain't never laid eyes on him. That's a shame. See, Daphne has a predilection for the company of Negroes. She likes jazz and pig's feet and dark meat. Know what I mean? Predilection, yeah. <laughs> I go looking for him myself, but not the right persuasion, so to speak. What do you want from me? What do you mean? What do you want me to do? Get a location on her. Mr. Carter wants to make up with her. Hundred dollars. I pay in advance. Hundred dollars. Now all I got to do is tell you where she's at. That's right. And that's all. That's all. Joppy tells me he used to frequent a legal club down on 89th and Central. Yeah, John. Somebody saw Daphne there a few nights ago. Uh, you could start tonight. I need you to do Mr. something. Mr. I done told you, you can't be in here harassing I'm folks. Harassing What's going on out there? 
I just paid these damn cops off and they out there rousting my customers. That's, that's what he gets for messing with that white woman. <laughs> come on, bro. Don't pay him no attention easy. I done run for Junior to come down and take care of that. They ain't got nobody but Deucey and them tonight. I had holiday on Thursday. Oh, yeah, you missed it. Junior, Junior, wait for the cops to leave. Take easy on upstairs. And if he's still down here, come on back and throw his ass out. You better be gone. I'll be here. I'll be waiting for you. Yeah, you just wait, mister. You just keep, just keep waiting. Mr. McGee, there is no upstairs. Got another one of them cigarettes? Sure. It's a pot. How you smoke these damn things? You the only Negro in America that smoke Mexican cigarettes. You know, last time I heard these fellas playing tonight night was back in Houston. That night your old buddy Mouse had to pull me up off of your ass. But that's the way you remember it, huh? Hell, that's the way it was. Look here. When you gonna admit that you helped Mouse kill old man Nav Roche? You know, man, come on, get off that. You know I didn't have nothing to do with that. Where all the white women at? You pay them white girls no mind? Yeah, I bet you don't. That's right. Just like you didn't help Mouse kill his stepfather. Hey, easy. Did you help him kill his stepbrother, too? Set up in a coke bag. You seen a girl named uh, Dahlia, Delia, something like that? White girl, supposed to be something to see? No, but if I do see her, I'm gonna keep it to myself. <laughs> Easy route. Is that you? Yeah, boy. <laughs> boy, you ain't jumped out no windows yet? No, I can't do free. <laughs> oh, look here. You know Coretta here, don't you? Oh, how you doing, Coretta? I'm all right, Easy. So, Dale. Hey, how you doing? Oh, Dale. <laughs> Can we sit down with y'all, Easy? Yeah, sure. Sit down. Man, we miss you down here at the plant. And look here. Benny would have gave you a job back, right? All you had to do was go down there and say that you were sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, all right. Give me a pint of that bourbon. Any man without his paycheck is showing up sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, look here, man. I got it, I got it. Your money here ain't no good. Oh, this one's mine. Now, you sure? Now, you the one ain't got no job. And you the one ain't got no money. Oh, baby. Any of y'all seen a white girl by the name of Dahlia or Delia, something like that? First name start with a D? No. Coretta got herself a job at the phone company. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, congratulations. They ain't hiring no mans down there, is You all right, Odell? Mm. Mm. to the cock crowed. <laughs> that whole cock don't crow nearly so much now. Sorry if you go. I'd be sorry if I stay, too. Good night, Coretta. Daphne's asleep by now, so... You can't get none of that tonight. 
go around here telling everybody down, yeah. Her name is Daphne. You know her? Why do you want me to put him at thing? This ain't my house. What? This ain't my house. It's just going in there on the bed, isn't it? Shut up, you. Oh, oh, oh. Where's my key? Oh. Be careful of the door. Oh. I was in the place last week because he couldn't pay the rent. I shouldn't even let him sleep here tonight. Damn, that nigga over there. I know, I know. <laughs> I need a cigarette. That all you need. <laughs> Girl, that son catch me tiptoeing outside your door. Ain't no telling what your neighbors might say. All right, easy, all right. <laughs> the pre don't fell asleep on me. You just gonna walk out on me like I was dog food, huh? What? Girl, what you talking about? <laughs> now, come on. Coretta, your man is in the next room. Why don't you tell me about your friend, Daphne? Why do you keep asking about her? Hmm? Colored woman ain't good enough for you no more, huh? Are you? No, that ain't it. Look, I mean... <laughs> well, what if he was to hear something? He's asleep. <laughs> What thing? Shh, come on now. What Dupree thing? right there in the next room. Don't do that. Forget about Dupree, baby. You done got me going, Corey. Right, easy. It ain't right. Yeah, I'm doing this right. Next room. All you're doing is nosing after my friend, Daphne. Huh? Da da oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah, no, baby. I, that, that's just a job. What job? Some man want me to find her. What man? I don't, I don't know what man, baby. I just, you know, I don't know. I don't want nobody but you. Baby. Oh. Daphne's my friend. Oh, you hit my spot. Yeah, baby. Oh, you hit my spot. Oh, that's it. That's it, Yeah, that's it. Oh. And I went on hitting her spot until just before sunup. I realized later on that Coretta had found out as much about what I was up to as I had found out about Daphne Monet. As it turned out, Todd Carter wasn't the only man in Daphne's life. She was also shacking up with some small-time colored gangster named Frank Green. And Coretta had the nerve to charge me $10 for that information. See, everybody was in business in Los Angeles. I spent that morning waiting for Albright to call and trying to feel good about being able to pay a few bills. And I mean just a few. Shoot, a loaf of bread was damn near 15 cents. It was easy money. Too easy. Hey, where you going, Sophie? Back to Texas. Too fast for me out here. Hi, Mr. Riley. All right, then. Hey, get on away from them people's house now. Go on, get away from that tree. Get on away from that tree now. Go on, get away.
Get away from that tree. Is it? I hope you have good news from me. Oh, Mr. Albright, that's you? Sure is, Easy. We're shaking. Oh, I doubt what you want. Hey, why don't you hold on to that, Easy? I only do business in person. Tell you what, real quick. You come on out here to Malibu. Meet me at the Fisherman's Pier at the hamburger stand in an hour. Okay? Malibu? Look, Mr. Albright, I don't... Mr. Albright. Pretty out here, huh? Yeah, it's all right. I'm from Des Moines, Iowa. Where are you from? Texas. Do they have an ocean in Texas? Gulf. Uh, Gulf in Texas. Barbara, where are you? I think your friends are looking for you. I don't care. My sister brought me here because my parents made her. All she wants to do is make out with Herman and smoke cigarettes. Hey, man. What are you doing out here? Hey, what's going on? Leave us alone, Herman. We're just talking. Listen, uh, we don't need you talking to her, OK? Hey, I hey. said leave us alone. We're just talking about the ocean. This nigger's trying to pick up on Barbara. That's what's wrong. Hey, Phil, what's wrong with you? You got a problem? Trouble. You already got trouble. I'm not Just trying to be polite. No, you're not. You're talking about the ocean. Hey, there. What do you want? What's going on? What do you want? What do I want? I want to see your brain. Oh, shit. Run, man, run! I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean it. Yes, sir, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. You sorry enough? Yes, sir, I am. You sorry enough? Yes, sir. Yeah. Then prove it. Come on, prove it. Show him. Get on his knees. Come on! Suck his Peter. Please, you sorry. son of a I bitch. I think he's got the point. You heard me. Go he's on. So... He's got the point! Do it! I'll kill you. I'll blow your brains out. Okay, okay, no. okay. Don't shoot me, please. Now go on. Okay. Go on. <laughs> Son of a gun. You're gonna do it, aren't you? Sick bastard. Oh, my eyes, please. Get the hell out of here. You call the cops. I'll kill you. Hurry up, man. Come on. Come on. I don't think they'd dare call the cops, but uh, we better get the hell out of here in case they do. <laughs> what do you got, Easy? Ain't no harm gonna come to that girl or anybody else because of me. Is. How should I know? Mr. Carter tells me he wants to buy her gold ring and live happily ever after. What do you got? Woman told me she was with a man named Frank Green. Hang on. 
Where? Over to the Skylar apartment, Skylar 83rd. Skylar 83rd? Frank Green, we know about this guy. He's a gangster, hijacker, looking cigarette, supposed to be pretty good with a knife. You ever see him in action? No, I just heard about him. <laughs> Easy. Here's another hunter. I'll be calling you again. Detective Miller. Mason. What? Turn around, put your hand on the top. come with us. Where? You'll see. Well, why are you arresting me? You'll see. Look, I got a right to know why you're arresting me now. You got a right to fall down, break your face. You got a right to come with me. Come on. Now we like to. Hey, do you uh, find the house yet? Uh, the guy over there? Oh, we got him, huh? Yeah, we got him coming home. <laughs> Ezekiel Rawls. We can take those cuffs off if you want to cooperate. Yes, sir. I'm cooperating. Turn around. Sit over there. Sit down. Now, I heard you this morning about 5 a.m. What do you mean? It means this morning. I, I was. I was out drinking. I carried a friend into his house. And I don't know. I could have been on my way home. I don't know. I, I ain't looking at no clock. Oh! Yeah! The clock! You were drinking at 89th and Central. Legal Club called John. Man, what you? is going on? Yes, we'll answer, Zeke. You got a lot bigger troubles than busting Look, I don't know. I don't, bar. I don't know what you're talking about. What we're talking about is taking your black ass out behind the station and putting a bullet in your head. That's what we're talking about. Sit down. Now, what time did you leave Greta James' house this morning? Around 5, 5.30, I guess. You go back later in the day? No, sir, I did not. You and Dupree Bruchon, do you have words over Miss James? Words? You heard him. You heard him. Did you two argue over Coretta James? Oh, we didn't argue did about Did you argue over no, Coretta James? No, we didn't argue James. about nothing. I, I, he was asleep. Yeah, she went to sleep, too. But she's not going to be waking up, Ezekiel. What? Now, where did you go when you left Miss James' house? Wait, 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 wait. What you talking about? She hey, ain't gonna hey, be hey, waking hey. up. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? I, I, I don't know. I was, I had a hangover. Oh, you had a hangover? Yeah, I went home. Oh, you had a hangover. That explains everything. You went home, you had a hangover. You, hey, you, back off! Back off! Back off! Here, here. No, no! Get out of here! Let me out! Where'd you go? Get out of here! Come on! Come on! Get out! Get out! Get out! All right. Calm down. All right. Come. You son of a bitch. They left me alone in that musty little room another three hours till some guy in a suit about two sizes too big for him came in and said I could go. The game of cops and niggas kept up outside the station, but I hardly even noticed. I had seen dead bodies before. Cold, hard, still as concrete, their eyes wide open, staring up at nothing. But not Coretta. I could still feel her heartbeat. Ezekiel Rollins. Hold on, Ezekiel. Somebody in the back would like to talk to you. Look, I ain't got time right now. Get in, we'll take you. My boss wants to talk to you about Coretta James. Listen, if you wanted to hurt you, it would have happened already. Come on. Get in. You want to go up front? 
my adopted son, Jesus. I can see the police roughed you up a bit. That's a practice of theirs that has to, has to change, Mr. Rollins. That has to change. Thank you. She was beaten and died of a heavy blow to the back of the head. I suppose you already know that. Uh, no, I didn't, Mr. Terrell. Oh, you know who I am? Well, I Read the newspapers. I know you're running for mayor against Todd Carter. I am the next mayor, Mr. Rollins. And luckily for you, a friend of the Negro. Coretta worked for a while for me. She answered phones at my campaign office on 103rd and Western. So when I heard that the police had a suspect, I got out of bed immediately, personally, because of my concern. Was there anyone with you, Mr. Rollins? Anyone besides Mr. Dupre Bouchard? No, sir. A young lady named Daphne Monet, perhaps? Nobody. Of course not. I mean, why, why would... Why, why would you... Why would you tell someone whom you've only just met? I mean... You can't trust me, Mr. Rollins. There was nobody else there. I believe you. Uh, can we drop you off at your... No, I mean, I, mean, I can get out of here. Are you sure? This must be quite out of your way. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. May I offer you a cab fare? No, thank you. Are you sure? No, it's okay. Norman? Daphne sleep by now, so <laughs> go around here telling everybody down. You. Colored woman ain't good enough for you no more, huh? Easy. <laughs> All you're doing is nosing after my friend, Daphne. Colored woman ain't good enough for you no more. Good man, watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Good man, watch out. Watch out. should do would you care to talk to me alone or is this something i should call the police about no no ain't no, ain't no reason to call the police then why don't you come over and explain yourself to me i'm at the ambassador hotel this part of the hotel is white only so go to the side entrance in half an hour and louis the bellboy will sneak you up Mr. Rollins. Hello, Miss Monet. I don't know if I should think of you as a friend of Coretta's or as a private dick. <laughs> I ain't no detective. No, I was just hired by a fella that uh, works for Todd Carter. You know, I had to pay Coretta not to tell you where I was. Oh, she got you too. Huh? <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah, well, she definitely gave me the wrong address. Where'd she say I was? Said you was out in Watts over to the Skylar Arms Apartments with a fella named Frank Green. Mm-hmm. And what else did she tell you about me? I don't know. What else is there to tell? Nothing. I make no apology for my feelings for Frank. He's very dear to me, and that's that. Bourbon? Please, straight up. So how well did you know Coretta? She was a very close friend. So maybe you know why she got killed? Why would I know that? She said she was a very close friend. She knew about you and Frank. Maybe somebody wanted to keep that secret. Mr. Rawlins, if you're thinking... Easy. You call me easy. <laughs> easy if you're thinking that Frank had anything to do with Coretta's death, and obviously you don't know very much about him. Frank doesn't go around beating people up. He prefers to use a knife as his weapon. And what do you prefer to use as your weapon? Well, why don't you search me and find out? I've had another drink. Help yourself. Listen, Mr. Rawlins. Easy. Easy. The real reason I called you is because I'd like you to drive me to Todd's house. Beg your pardon? Well, you found me, and now I want you to take me to Todd Carter's. Why don't you call Todd Carter? Have him send for you. Well, I have to go someplace else on the way. Someplace that I don't want Todd to know about. There's a man named Richard McGee, and he lives up in Laurel Canyon. And he delivered a letter of mine to the wrong place, and now I need to make arrangements to get it back. At 4 o'clock in the morning? Must be a pretty important letter. Yes, it is. But I need to go there before I go to Todd's. I'll pay you. What time you talk to Coretta this morning? I don't know, 7.38, I guess. Uh, listen, Easy, I don't... I don't really want to talk about Coretta just now. Did you go up to her house? No. She called me. She was in a good mood. She always, uh... Look, I, I didn't mean to upset you and Daphne. I, you understand, I... As far as I know, you was the last one to talk to her before she got killed. No, I don't mean to upset you. But as far as I know, you were the last one with her before she got killed. Now, where does that leave us? Hmm. Why don't you go and change out that house coat? I'll carry on with it. Are you nervous? Nervous. Here I was in the middle of the night in a white neighborhood with a white woman in my car. No, I wasn't nervous. I was stupid. You make a left up here. Getting Daphne back to Todd Carter all of a sudden didn't seem so easy. Who was this guy, Richard McGee? Just parked behind that car.
Who's that at the door? It's him. Oh, yeah? You fought in your? Easy. What you doing in my house, man? Why am you in, man? What the hell are y'all doing in my house? Y'all ain't got no right to break into my house. Where you been this time of morning, Easy? I, hey, I went to see a girl. Why? You don't get none all bright? I didn't come here to play nigger. Okay. My money you got in your pocket. We've been by that address you gave me on Frank Green. Turns out I had moved from there a year ago. So what you want me to do about it? You don't like the way I'm doing my job? Hell, I'll give you your money. <laughs> Believe God, easy? Huh? I'm curious to see if things any different for a religious man, huh? I'm gonna show you what I do to people so they see things they ain't seen. Seen it? Where? She... Come on. She called me. She had me to carry up to the Hollywood Hills. Where is she now? She she took off. Bullshit. Where is she now? She took off. There was a dead man up there. While I was looking at it, she took off. Come on in. Sit down. What you do, take his car? Huh? McGee. Yeah. If you can write, write down where you picked her up at. <clears throat> write it down. I get that with popcorn. Give me some whiskey, easy. Look, it's in the cabinet. You get it your damn self. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's got balls, you gotta give him that. <laughs> Shoot him. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Connectable to two murders. You're gonna do whatever I tell you to do. You find him. 
I will be checking in. Cheap shit. Let's go. Since Albright likes surprise parties, I had a friend of my own I wanted to invite. I placed a call to Etta Mae Alexander in Houston, told her to get a message to her husband, Miles. Called me last night, Joppy. What girl is that? The one your friend Albright is looking for. Uh huh. That's yeah, pretty lucky. No, it wasn't no luck at all, Joppy. It was you. You and Coretta was the only ones that had my phone number and knew I was looking for the girl. And Coretta was too busy scamming Daphne, so it couldn't have been her. No, it was you, Joppy. Maybe she looked it in the phone book. I ain't in the phone book. Now, you supposed to be my friend. Now, why in the hell didn't you tell the man where the girl was your damn self? In the first place, what the hell you mean coming up here looking all ugly like you think you're going to do something? I think I'm going to do something. Hey! 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 What? That's my mama! My uncle left me that after he died! God damn it, he's about to get it back. All right, come on, let's talk. Let's, oh, well, let's talk. Let's talk. What you all right. got me into? All right. She asked me to help her because I told her Albright was looking for her. And I figured I could help you make a few dollars and throw Albright off the track. Now, she want to know something about you, so I told her. And I guess I'll give her your phone number. Where's she at, Jobby? I don't know. Don't lie to me, Jobby. I'm not lying to you. Where's she running from, then? She didn't tell me. Easy. Look at me. I am your friend. Now, I didn't mean to get you in no trouble. I just, I mean, she... Look, you, you seen her. I mean, she is something else, man. You know what I'm saying? Like Albright said, when you're mixed up in something, you better be mixed up to the top. So that's where I was going, all the way to the top. Everybody was peeing on my head and telling me it was rain. Guess they figured I was some new kind of fool, and maybe I was, because I was ready to start fighting back. And I believed somehow that I could live through this bad dream I was having about pretty girls and gangsters and standing face to face with the richest man in town. May I help you? Uh, yes, ma'am. I'm looking for Mr. Carter. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Carter's a very busy man. Too busy to hear something about that little chippy of his that dumped him? Excuse me. Mr. Rollins. Why don't you come with me, sir? Not very smart talking about Mr. Carter's business to a secretary. I don't want to hear it, man. There's too much going on for me to give a damn about what you think is smart. Wait here, Mr. Rollins. Mr. Carter will see you. Just 
Mr. Rollins. Mr. Carter? You've heard from Daphne? Yeah, last night. Uh, she's still in town? She was last night. And what did she say? What was she wearing? Uh, blue dress, high heel. Mm, that's her. I'm, I'm sorry. Would you like to come in? Mr. Carr. Have a seat. Thank you. I just want some answers. Would you like a brandy? Thank you. I want to know what I got myself into. I beg pardon? Well, I want to know the real reason Mr. Albright hired me. Mr. Albright. Yeah, the man you hired to find Daphne. I think there's been a mistake here. I, uh... Who are you talking about? Wait a minute, you... You didn't, you didn't hire somebody to find your girlfriend? Of course not. As a matter of fact, until just now, I thought she was hundreds of miles away from here. You say someone's looking for her? Yeah. Someone's looking for her. <laughs> Look, Mr. Carter, nothing personal, but what, what's going on between y'all? Nothing. We were going to get married, and we had a fight. And it is really none of your concern, Mr. Uh, Rollins. So someone's after her. Mr. Albright. And he says I'm, I'm his employee. You ever heard of a fellow named Richard McGee? Who? Look, I... Why would somebody be after Mr. Rollins, do you think you can find her again? It's important for her sake. I'm willing to pay you. Well, why'd she leave in the first place? It's really none of your concern, Mr. Rollins, but I am willing to pay you to find her. Okay. Okay. One thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take two hundred right now. You know what? I think you're trying to take advantage of me. Let me inform you of something. The incumbent mayor, the chief of police, close personal friends of mine. They eat at my house regularly and my father's house. That's good, Mr. Carter, and they can help us find her. No, they can't. I'll have Baxter write you out a check. Mr. Carter, why you stop running for mayor? I'll have Baxter write you a check. All right, why is Matthew Terrell looking for Daphne, too? Baxter will write you a check. I'll take care. Here, take it off. Just take it off. I'll be in touch, Mr. Carter. So Albright had lied to me. Instead of working for Carter, he was working for Matthew Terrell, the man running for mayor against Carter. And for whatever reason, they was all throwing money my way to find the girl in the blue dress. Anyway, I knew that a boyfriend, Frank Green, hijacked trucks hauling liquor and sold it at half the price to places.
Zico. 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 What? There's a man. Shoot this son of a bitch easy. Mouse! Huh? You want me to shoot him? No. Oh. Where's Daphne Monet, Frank? All right, look, all right, maybe you don't know where she is, but hey, we can help each other find her, man. Mouse, no! Molly's resident. No. Nah, he busy right now. You're gonna have to call back. A rich man is willing to pay $1,000 just to talk to this girl. $1,000, that's a hell of a lot of money, man. Frank. Wait, 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 wait. Let, let me try. Now, look here, Frank. It's, it's Frank, right? Yeah. Frank? What's wrong with you, man? Don't you ever grab me when I got a gun in my hand. Shit. You got blood on my coat, easy. It's a damn expensive coat. Where's your bathroom at, man? Is it in there? Find that girl so we can get that money, huh? Hell no, we don't have to go find nobody. I done changed my mind. I don't need your kind of help, Mouse. <laughs> Boy, look at you. Man, cut a damn smile in your neck. You gonna tell me you don't need my kind of help? See, this the same shit you pulled five years ago when you killed old man never shedding them. You ain't even been in my house five minutes and you done shot somebody already, Mouse. Come on, Easy. <laughs> Come in on this thing, man. No. Easy, I'm trying to do right. I'm, I mean, you know, now. <laughs> Come on, man, I can help you. Now, you know you're gonna need somebody at your back. I swear I'm gonna let you run the show. Oh, you gonna let me run the show? Well, I ain't gonna do nothing you don't tell me to do. <laughs> you nothing. You gonna let me run the show. You gonna do everything I say? Man, I'm gonna do everything you say. That's the wrong hand, Mom. Oh. <laughs> Why you, oh. man? <laughs> Who was that on the phone? Oh, uh, I don't know, man. It sounded like some white girl. Ezekiel. I came to ask you a few more questions. So why don't you invite us in? I'll come out. What happened to your neck? Did I do that? I don't remember doing that. What do you know about a man named Richard McGee? A dead white man in a cabin over in Laurel Canyon. He just happens to have a note in his pocket with Coretta James written on it. Do you feel a little more talkative? Because I'll bet you six bits to a bottle of piss we're looking at a double here. All we gotta do is place you in a dead man's house. 
I wasn't in no dead man's house. Yeah, well, you know what we could do? We could go down the station. We'll send a team over here. Believe me, they'll find something that will place you at that dead man's house. Evidence has a funny way of showing up, you know? No, nah, y'all ain't got nothing on me, because I ain't done nothing, and you know I ain't done nothing. We know you know a lot more than you're letting on. Now, you're going to tell us everything you know, or you're going down for the murder of Richard McGee and Coretta James. There's nothing to tell you. I don't know nothing. I'm sure you do. Come on, let's go. All right, look. Why don't you just give me a little more time? Forget it. Maybe till tomorrow morning. Give me till tomorrow morning. Maybe I can, I can dig something up. What do you think, Jack? We could do that. OK. All right, okay. take the cuffs off. You got till tomorrow morning. Have a nice evening, Ezekiel. I played along just like the cops wanted me to. It was all a game to them. But in the morning, they'd be playing for keeps because a white man was dead now. And guilty or not, somebody was going to have to pay for this one. Hey, man, is Dupree's sister house over there off of Compton Boulevard or Compton Avenue? I can't find it. Don't worry about it. We're going somewhere else first. Oh, did that girl call? Easy. We finna go see that girl? No. Hey, Zico? I've been watching oh, I ain't your got house. Time right seeing now. Seeing all them right people now. that's been giving you hey, trouble. Look, just leave you my trees alone, all right? right there, man, I'm gonna go back and knock down a couple of them for you. I'm not gonna come down. And, and you tell me what you think when you get back, all right? Junior's promise. I ain't got no time to be fooling with you now. I'm trying to get some sleep. Hey, you better go on open this door, Junior. Act like you got some sense. Oh. Go on, fool. Get out the way. We ain't got all day. Have a seat. You all want a beer? Yeah, sure. Thank you. What you smoking there, Junior? Zapata? Uh-huh. This one's yours, too, isn't it? Why you kill Richard McGee? Huh? What you talking about? Ain't no time to play, Junior. I know you want to kill them. You crazy, man? Sit down, Junior. Tell me what happened, Junior. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, the police will when they find out the fingerprints they got up in that man's house belong to you. What fingerprints? What house? Had he had you to pull that man out of John's bar the night I was there, and he was laying up in his house dead with the same suit on and a bullet hole in his head. I ain't killed nobody. Oh. Quit lying, you big old sweated, thick-headed cornbread eating. Thick-headed, you damn self. Sit down, Junior. Go on, sit down now. Now, you better tell me what happened, Junior. Maybe I'll forget what I know. Otherwise, I'm gonna tell Mouse to shoot you. Because, you know, I don't like your monkey ass, and he don't like you either. Now, you killed that man. You took his money, didn't you? I don't even know who you're talking about. Didn't you? You just had to rob him, didn't you? I didn't. I didn't touch nothing in that man's house. <laughs> God damn, Junior. Mm-hmm. Sit down. Patty had me take him out to his car. The man was so drunk, he gave me $10 just to drive him home. I know you took that. Hell yeah. Then he was asking me about that white girl you was asking everybody about at the club. I told him I seen her with Coretta. What the hell I care if he knows? Oh, so you gonna tell him, but you won't tell me. I don't like your ass easy. And he give me $50. $50? Just to tell him that you saw her with Coretta? No, to deliver a letter. I give it to Coretta to give to her the next morning. Yeah, well, you better be telling the truth, Jimmy. Yeah, come on, let's go. Man. I'm telling the truth. I ain't killed nobody. I, that man was alive when I left. I, I, I ain't killed nobody. The letter that was so important to Daphne had worked his way over to the other side of town to Dupree's sister's house in Compton. I hoped. And Junior was innocent like I knew all along. But I couldn't see no harm in letting the big waterhead suck a sweat a little bit. Yeah. 
Hey, now. Hey, hey, hey. Tried to call you. Yeah, the cops just let me out the date. Sister going to work, and I ain't feel much like talking. Raymond. <laughs> yeah, big man. Hey. All right, now. Uh, is them pigtails I smell up in there? Oh, yeah. Lula may made some before she went to work. Well, y'all gonna have to excuse me then. <laughs> uh, do free. Yeah. Look, uh... I'm sorry. Thank you, Easy. Why somebody want to kill her like that, man? It just don't make sense to me. Did Corvetta say anything to you about the letter she was keeping? A letter? What kind of letter? From that white girl? Nah. I know it's on count of her that Corvetta got killed. Yeah? Yeah. Everything between Daphne and Coretta was always such a damn secret. That old girl, she didn't think nothing about two-timing on Frank. You want some more tales, Raymond? Oh, yeah, thanks, Dupree. And you know she messing around with that guy running for mad, don't you? Todd Connor. Yeah, Carver, that's his name. She probably introduced Coretta to one of them guys she knew. She probably came over to the house, saw that Coretta wasn't that type of woman. Cop says she fought him. Can you imagine it? My baby fought him. Fought him because she wouldn't have nobody but me. God. I can't sleep. Uh -uh. I still keep seeing her face that morning before I went to work. Junior had just came by the house and she come running out carrying her Bible. She say, um, keep this for me, baby. The Bible? Yeah. And the police won't even let me go near the house. That's the only thing I got left that belonged to her. The Bible. I know it was a sign because she's so religious. Oh, God. <laughs> it's all right, baby. I'm sorry. No, no, that's all right. Get you a drink, huh? Go on now, drink this. All right. Go on, drink that. Go on, drink that. I was scared now, and sick from what I saw. Pictures of a much younger Matthew Terrell and children. Innocent, helpless, naked children. Nice. I got it, come on, let's go. <laughs> Why is you crazy, Why is you drunk? Come on. Am I drunk? You saw me draw that gun in a minute. Check this gun out, drunk me. Drunk. No, 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 I'm drunk. You right? Go for that gun right there. You're gonna see who's drunk. Oh, watch it now. Watch it. God damn it. Right there now. Oh, yeah. Now this fool gonna call me out. He ain't even got no gun. I'll kill that motherfucker. No. Uh, let him go. Hmm? Let him live. And he'll be scared of you every time you walk into a room. Shit, he better be scared, goddammit, I'll kill him. He will, then. If, 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 if he ain't out, you better tell him. I, I, I will. Trust me. I'll tell him. 
Right there. Where you going? Pictures was eating at my pocket like a cigarette burn. Albright had killed for those pictures to get them back for Matthew Terrell. He had killed Richard McGee, who had sold the pictures to Daphne. Time was running out. But I had some unfinished business with the girl. She had called that afternoon, and all I needed was for her to call again. I'm sorry I broke into your house, and Please don't be angry with me. Now, why should I be angry at you? You know, Coretta's boyfriend, Dupree, got out of jail today. And you need me to help you find him. I already got the pictures, Daphne. I paid $7,000 for those pictures. They belong to me. Matthew Terrell might have something to say about that. All right, then I'll pay you for them. I'll give you $1,000. You gave Richard McGee seven. Well, then I'll give you seven. Damn, what does Terrell have on you, girl? <laughs> Nothing. You want the money or not? No. No, I got two murders hanging over my head. Unless I give the cops a killer by tomorrow morning, I'm going to jail. Now, who killed Coretta? I don't know. It was because of them pictures she was killed, or wasn't it? I don't know. Your boyfriend, Frank Green, killed her to bring you them pictures, didn't he? Of course not. Yeah, well, you can tell it to the police, because I ain't taking a rap. Easy, put the phone down. Put the phone down. Put the phone down. Easy. So it was Frank, wasn't it? He had nothing to do with it. Yeah, either. sure he did. I knew there was more between y'all than just some backdoor romance. He probably pimped you out to call in the first place. Hey, we going to the police. No. Come on. No. Yeah, why don't you scream, huh? So I can tell the police about your boyfriend, Frank Green. Frank is my brother. What? Our mother is Creole. We have different fathers. Mine is white. And that's what Terrell has on me. And so far, I've been able to keep Frank out of this. Who killed Coretta? It was an accident. Who killed her? She threatened to sell the pictures to Terrell. Who killed her, goddammit? I just asked Choppy to go home and put a scare into her. Choppy. I didn't mean to hurt anybody. I didn't mean to hurt anybody. But Todd and his family, you know, they had to pull out of the election because of me. They really wanted us to get married. It was just, it was just because of the election that we could... You be a son of a bitch. Get her, Sharif. Yeah. Take it to the car. Yeah. Come on. Who are we gonna give up to cover this shit, huh?
I woke up Mouse and told him to drive Dupree's car to 34th and Central. Because it had come to me in less time than it takes to think. They were taking Daphne someplace more deserted than Albright's office up in Hollywood. Someplace where there would be no witnesses. And I was being left alive to take the fall. Guns you got. What? Give me one of them guns, start up my car, keep it hot, I'm coming out fast. got the girl and he's gonna kill her. Now you better tell me where it is and you better get it right. Now easy, I get don't it know. Right, I, I don't know. I, get it right. There's a, a, a cabin now. There's, there, that's all I know. There's, there's a cabin. Where is it? It's in Malibu on Route 9. Make a right that's, turn into Alley. That's... Oh yeah. Now you sure this is where Albright's gonna be, right? I guess so. Don't be that. guessing, Joppy. Look, he, he done done this kind of thing out there before, so I guess so. Hey, easy. Man, what's done got into you? I thought y'all was supposed to be friends. He killed Dupree's girlfriend, Coretta. I, I ain't. You lying? No. I ain't Hold done nothing like that. Hey, wait, no. Hey, 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 let me go, Weezy. Hey, let me do it. Wait a minute. Oh! Now let go. Hey, 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 on, hey, hey, now we need him, Mouth. The girl got $7,000. Uh, 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 what? Uh, the girl offered to pay me $7,000 for them pictures. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How much further is it? You're coming up on it. Some rope in the trunk, time up. Yeah, all right. Oh, man, come on. The girl is lying that she told you I killed that woman. Who said she told me? I. Well, I mean. <clears throat> Easy, I'm just gonna learn to shoot him now, okay? No, I don't shoot him.
don't want to hurt you, but you are going to tell me where are the cookies? <laughs> What part of you is a nigga? Your leg a nigga? Your arm a nigga? Maybe your face is a nigga. What part of you is a nigga? Huh? You know what I'm gonna do? I don't know, I'm sweet. I'm gonna no! fuck you out of you. Gone, man. Gone. You all right? Can you walk? Where'd Joppy, Mouse? Huh? Where'd Joppy? Uh, he, he right there. What happened? I ain't had no time to be tying him up easy. What? Look, you just said don't shoot him, right? That's right. Well, I didn't. I just, I, I choked him. What? Well, how am I going to help you out if I'm, if I'm back here fooling around with him now? Easy, look, if you ain't want to kill, why'd you leave him with me? Come on, we got to go, Easy. Easy, come on, let's go now.
Frank, I can just run by and kill him and take that evening train to Houston. Nah, Miles. Sure. Yeah. All right. Look here. Now, I'll cut you in for half, because I know you was too big a fool to take your share from that white girl yourself. All right? Hey, man, look. If you need somebody to run them streets with you again, just give me a call, because you know how to put some money in the nigga's pocket. them the most was that I didn't tell them. And then Terrell threatened to go public about my mother. And that just added insult to injury. But when Todd sees the pictures, there'll be nothing to stand in the way of us getting married. You sure about that? Of course, Terrell doesn't want to go to jail. I'm not talking about Terrell. Todd and I are very much in love, and in the end, his family just wants him to be happy. Daphne had gotten the money out of a locker at the YWCA. It was money she had gotten from Carter's family. $30,000 to leave town. She was still convinced, though, that her Negro blood didn't matter now that Terrell couldn't use it to keep the man she wanted to marry out of the mass race. She was in love and couldn't see for dreaming. Any better than the rest of us, I guess. Because even though we had fought a war to keep the world free, the color line in America worked both ways, and even a rich white man like Todd Carter was afraid to cross it. Don't walk away. Damn you. Don't... Wait. Wait. Here's the $800 that I owe you. And thank you for protecting her. You have some pictures. That put you back in the race. I'm gonna need you to do something for me, too. I know. You'll have no trouble with the police. It's a promise. Thank you. Mr. Rollins. Just so you know. I do love her. You want me to walk inside? I dropped her off at her brother's apartment, a fourplex on Denker Street. 
She had told me a story on the way home like a sinner who wanted to confess. Her name was Ruby Hanks from Lake Charles, Louisiana. And I suppose all she really wanted was a place to fit in. A few days later, my conscience got the best of me, and I went by her place to bring back my half of her money. I was kind of excited about seeing her again. But when I got there, she and her brother had picked up and gone. Find a job yet? I ain't studying no job, Odell. You ain't studying no job? How you gonna live? I got a little money saved up. I'm invest in some real estate. Maybe go into business for myself. What kind of business? A little private investigating. You get in trouble doing that? Yeah, well, like a man told me once. Step out your door in the morning, you're already in trouble. Just a matter of whether you mixed up at the top of that trouble or not, that's all. Yeah. I guess you're right. If you got a friend that you know does bad things, I mean, real bad things, and you still keep him as a friend even though you know what he's like, you think that's wrong? All you got is your friend. Get on away from that. Now, you know that fool knocked down two of my trees. Get away from that. You better get on. Hey, Lou. Hey, man, get out the street. Watch it, All right. I thought about what Odell had said about friends, and it made sense to me. Odell goes to church every Sunday, so he would know. Later on, he challenged me to a game of dominoes. Now, what are you going to do that for? We got to talking about Texas, and fooled around, and drunk almost a quart of whiskey. And I forgot all about Daphne Monet, Dee Whit Albright, Carter, and them. And I sat with my friend on my porch at my house. And we laughed along.